Hey, it's Daryl from Barbecue Superstars, and this week we're down in Columbia, South Carolina with Smoking Coals, Buzz and Butt Dust, Mark Busby and Tim Hamby. We're going to be checking with them just for a minute, and it's going to be a whole lot of exciting fun, and it's going to be brought to you by Smoking Coals. Girls with Grills was put together by Mark Busby and Tim Handy to give the women a little chance to have their own class where it's not a bunch of overbearing men in the situation. There are no men here but the two teachers that are going over all the skills and all the chills and thrills of barbecue. And a whole lot of hands-on stuff going, folks. If you come to the Girls with Grills barbecue class, folks, you'll be able to actually grab the tongs, grab the ribs, grab the steaks, grab the... Uh, chicken wings, whatever whatever they're cooking, you will definitely be able to get in there and grill. And here we go. Hey, it's Daryl from Barbecue Superstars, continuing at the Girls with Grills class, and we've got a young lady here. What's your name, man? Lisa Scahill. Okay, and uh, how long have you been cooking barbecue, or have you ever cooked barbecue? Well, I've never really cooked barbecue. I like to cook on the grill, but this is something new for me, so I was excited to learn a little bit about it. Yeah, now, how much have you learned? I mean, has it really, like, changed your whole point of view on what barbecue is? Well, it has kind of, because I'm really scared to cook pork and all that. I'm just a hamburger kind of person, so now it's kind of, I'm really excited to be able to do something different with chips and smoking and all that. I, I wasn't sure of how that all worked. Now I am. It's kind of exciting. I know he's been talking about apple wood and hickory wood and all these different woods and everything. And uh, Do you know what the difference between the sauce and the rub now? I do. I do. And um, I'm famous for just putting a quick sauce, a barbecue sauce, a regular one that you get out of the shopping you know, store. And now I'm excited to try the rub and all. So it, it's encouraging because it's, it, it's a longer time of cooking. So I think that's kind of neat. That'll work for my benefit. Well, for all the girls out there, have you felt comfortable while you've been doing the class? I mean, uh, was it well organized and put together well? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. It was really well done. Actually, I was kind of nervous coming in because I really did not know what I was doing. But I'm excited now, and uh, I, I understand it. I really do. It's good. All right. Well, we're down here in Columbia, South Carolina, the South Carolina Farmer's Market. Exit 115 off 26. Smoking coals, buzzing butt dust. Put on a huge school here today. and. And uh, we're really excited about everything they did. And what was the best thing that you've seen this morning? Was it the steaks, the ribs, the wings? Which one did you like the best? Well, that's hard, but um, that it was all hands-on, and I was able to smell it, too. So I got a smell of everything. <laughs> so I liked it. I really enjoyed it. Well, you heard it right here on Barbecue Superstars. We're excited about this school. Moving on. The best part about this school is the lunch, folks. Uh, steak, potatoes, salad, tea. You can't get any better of that. And cooked by an expert barbecue cook on that brand new Alvaron cooker. Now folks, he came out with a backyard model and it cooked up this corn and all this stuff to perfection and Mark Busby right there, the steaks were so tender even well done was massively tender. Look at that lunch folks. You can't lose at this school. Hey, have you learned a lot? Yes I have. It's been very interesting. Uh, what, uh, what have you learned? I mean, I know you've done ribs and steaks so far, but He's got a lot of general knowledge about hogs and barbecue cooking. Yes, a lot about indirect and direct grilling. You know, I didn't realize how to do that, but it's very interesting. Okay, you're part of a barbecue team too also, right? Yes, I am. Swig and Pig. Oh, Swig and Pig. Yeah, we're out of uh, Williamson, South Carolina. We're a Piercetown community. Okay. Do you mostly do SCBA? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, are you going to be able to carry back some tips that will help your husband out? I hope so, or at least when he's not home, I'm going to take over the grill. <laughs> okay, well, how did you come out about finding out about the class, and how did you end up signing up for it? I think um, Tim had put something on Facebook, and I was the first one to sign up, so they gave me an apron. Yeah. <laughs> Barbecue Shop Talk every every Thursday night, 7 o'clock to 7.30 on the Barbecue Superstars radio network. And, uh, well, give a little shout-out to all the ladies and just tell them how much you enjoyed the class. Hey, I passed it around, told everyone to come, and you are missing out if you're not here. <laughs> All right, you heard it right here on Barbecue Superstars. Make sure you get in touch with Mark Busby, Tim Handy, and uh, the whole crew at Smoking Coals Rub and Barbecue Sauce. And have you tasted any of that Smoking Coals? Oh, yeah, it's great. Oh, wow, I'll tell you, Smoking Coals is one of the number one sauces in the country, ranked very highly on Barbecue Superstars. So we're going to move on and talk to some more students. Make sure you get in touch. 
And remember, all we're doing right now is just kind of work the color on those ribs. So we flip them over. Let's give them a good miss. Just plain apple juice. Just wet the backs of them. And now we'll do, go about a half hour or so, and we're going to come back, and then we'll flip them again. And what I like to do is flip them. Back. Right now they're meat side, and then we're going to come back and flip them bone side. So we're going to go meat side, bone side, meat side, bone side, and we're going to cook, continue to do this until they look beautiful. And then when they look beautiful is when we're going to come out here and we're going to wrap each individual rack in foil. And by wrapping them in foil, you're, you're going to see we're going to get a beautiful bone draw where that meat draws away from the bone, and you're going to see the nice tips of those ribs start to shine out, and that kind of is a telltale sign that the rib is rendered as fat and that it's nice and tender. So, all right, so say good night. We'll come back and see you guys in about a Girls with Grills, savory southern barbecue cooking class. Folks, make sure you sign your wife up so she can go in and learn how to grill. If you're looking at the diagram there, you can kind of see the whole of the animal. You can kind of see where the spare ribs are as they connect to the sternum, and then kind of where the baby backs are. And then on the very, very top of those baby backs, there's another cut that you get at some of these more high-end stick houses called a Danish baby back. Or a Danish Just go on Facebook and get in touch with Mark Busby or Tim Handy.